Wednesday morning, uh, first meeting today, meeting with Michael Varner. Uh, he works with Carter Printing. And I did a talk on social media for Synapse last week and Michael wanted to sit down and talk about social media for his personal brand and possibly the company. So we're gonna go in and get a tour of the facility today and see if there's any way we can help. Guys, I just had an amazing tour with Mike Varn. What's the name of the company? Carter Printing. Carter Printing. You guys have no idea what really goes into printing. We're about to take this guy to the next level. Is that right, Mike? That's right. <laughs> it's insane what's right here in Richmond and you never realize it. I probably passed this building a thousand times and never knew that all this was in here. I'm really looking forward to working with Mike because he's in one of those industries that a lot of guys just do not advertise and brand themselves. So I love working with individuals where there's really nobody in that space and they can just go Rashad like all over the place. Next meeting, I've never met this individual before. He's simply been following my content online, reached out to me through Facebook Messenger and said, hey, I like what you have going on. Love to sit down and talk and see if there's any way that we can work together. So that's what we're doing. So you guys know, when I'm meeting somebody for the first time, I'm typically not gonna vlog. So we're gonna have to leave the camera in the car for this one. Ugh. Oh my gosh. All right, I got a rant here that I have to go off on. So I just left a meeting and I'm pretty pissed. I'm gonna explain to you guys something. I got wrangled into a presentation for a network marketing company. And let me explain something. I got my start in network marketing when I was about 19, 20 years old. It's really what sparked the entrepreneurial bug in me. Without that system, I don't think I'd be where I'm at today. But with that being said, there are too many people not just in business in general, but particularly network marketing that are trying to trick people into their business. So let me explain what happened. An individual reached out to me, said he wanted to discuss a few things with his business as well as mine and that some of my services may be able to aid them. So he wants to sit down and talk a little business. Set a meeting with him, went to the office today. He wasn't there. So a couple of things I have an issue with. Number one, don't set a meeting with me if you're not going to be there. He had the head guy of the organization there to meet me, which ultimately put me through an hour long sales presentation. Number two, be honest with people. All right. It's individuals like that, that are giving hard working people that have their own networking business, a bad name. If you want to sell me on something, if you want to pitch me, let me know prior to coming in. Don't just ransack me and trick me into a meeting to hear about your company. Three, honesty is the best policy. I don't care whether it's network marketing, you own your own LLC, you're an insurance agent, uh, you're a real estate agent, be honest with people. Don't trick me into a meeting and completely blindside me and I have no, re no understanding while I'm there. So generally I would just let something like this go, but this guy has pissed me off. So I'm gonna message him back on Facebook let him know that what he did was wrong and I did not appreciate it and it was a complete waste of my time. It's not that hard guys, just be honest. All right, ran over. Back to happy Sam. So the great thing about social media is that you don't necessarily need to be in the same room with someone. So I have a client, uh, Kate Baird, we're jumping on the line with her today. I have a video conference scheduled doing a social media consult. Uh, so this is what I'll generally do for clients that they don't want to take on the financial responsibility of having us manage all of their social media form. So typically what we'll do is a $200 consult uh, that gets them up to two hour consultation. And I literally sit down with them and write out a game plan for their social media. So uh, at this point, they're kind of doing it blindly. But uh, once I'm able to sit down and talk to them, they have specific things that they know they can do each and every single day for their social media to make it more effective. 
<laughs> All right, Katie, did I give you some, some helpful information today? Yeah, you gave me tons of great helpful information. What's so. your, uh, tell everybody your business so they can go check out your Facebook because now Kate's Facebook is going to be on fleek. We just gave her a lot of tips, so you guys are going to see some big improvements here. That's right. It's going to be amazing. Um, CoachingSeville.com. I'm an ADHD coach, so I work with kids and um, parents, help them understand their inattentive brains and how to make their life a little easier. Love getting stuff in the mail. So you guys know that we got that Ronin M, the motorized uh, camera stabilizer. Very expensive piece of equipment. So we haven't felt too good about just walking around with this without a case. It sucks because we have to break down this piece of gear every single time I need to use it. But we decided we need to get a case which just came in. The case isn't very cheap either, but when you're dealing with expensive piece of equipment, it's gotta protect it right. Oh, you have no idea how much I love new tech. Next big purchase, drone. That gets to stay at Shane's place.